Now, this is the excavation intel from the other one. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I'll make a quick trip back to Converse, though, because it looks like we can collect some new quests, which would be good before we walk around more. Security we hope you found your stay with us refreshing. Of the town, Thanks. During which time it was back again. Well, you're always welcome. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. <sighs> Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. He has... Bright green eyes. Did you notice just now? It was very obvious. You don't look so good. What's wrong? You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess. Oh, God. Calling for me. Urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy, saying it aloud. How involved with Shinra were you? I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. Why are you pissed at Shinra? I'll spare you the grisly details and just say they stole my life from me, my family, my home. Is that reason enough for you? But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this? A soulless imitation. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. <laughs> Living in hate can poison a man. I don't need a reason. Yeah, I I'm glad to help you. I just wanted to know a little bit more. Your story probably is echoed by a lot of people. I'm sure Shinra is not liked that much around here. No one's really going, Oh my god, Shinra is giving us Mako. The reason why we're all living in convenience right now is because of Shinra. Praise Shinra. No one's thinking that. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. We should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. I've seen the windmills. I'll go ahead and tell her that. That helps on the way. Thanks again for doing this. Sorry to put you to the trouble. Just to reiterate, my friend's name is Mildred. She's an odd duck, but a true sweetheart. Okay. I'll no go worries. Ahead and tell her that. Was there more in the board? The community board? Hey, how's that guy's proposal going, by the way? Oh, there is a new one, but we got it already. We just went directly to the guy. Okay. Something good has to be in store for me after suffering through that interrogation. Patience is always rewarded, right? Is she here yet? You came like five days earlier, didn't you? When's she coming? <laughs> When's she coming? It looks like that's it for now. Yeah, we'll go back out then. The windmill over there. You're near the farm. Okay. Got you. All right, buddies. Let's go see Mildred. Does that mean that it's really windy around here then? It should be, right? They're trying to harvest the wind power and all that. Hello? We're ca Wait, we're digging on a farm. That's kind of bad. We're messing with people's crops. Five beast bones. All right, thank you. Actually, never really went beyond the farm here. There's more houses and stuff. A small community outside of Calm. 
Oh yeah, it's broken. Nothing's moving. Mildred? Hello? Hello? One sec. I just gotta loot everything you have. That's all. Hey. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? Wait, when they say stuff like Republic of Junon, we're going to Junon after we go beyond the swamps, right? But we're not going to the Republic of Junon because the Republic is gone. What is it now then? Just the city of Junon? Something like that? How do you know Rodan? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. I don't feel like we should be asking other people about Broden. But, I mean, of course we're gonna ask, but it just seems kinda... intrusive. What happened between Broden and Shinra? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even hand-picked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't oh, long no. after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? Have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. His eyes seemed very green, and that immediately makes me think of Mako's stuff. If we tell him we're a first-class soldier, maybe he'll tell us more. If Broden will get... will Broden get better? He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help. Something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Okay, enough chit chat about other people. <laughs> How do we actually get your windmill part? Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? Okay. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Perhaps I can be of service. Were you if eavesdropping? You wish to more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmuter chips, as well as other points of interest. I hope that helps your search. Oh, did we not just get a? Okay, Life Springs it is. Fine by me. Only fitting that we learn the history of the planet as we seek to cross her. Okay, we've been doing that already. I wonder if that's related to the chip. It was definitely telling us to go to... Yeah! Ah, oh, should have gone to this one earlier then, huh? That's okay. We can get there by... Now we could come here, but I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go here instead, because we can cut through and maybe make the place not gray. Sounds good to me. Oh, by the way, since we're here anyway... Chadley! By the way, Chadley, were you eavesdropping? I'm pretty sure nobody told you about Junon. I wasn't talking to you. Cloud! As a reminder, you can find transmuter chips buried within Republic ruins throughout the land. Analyzing life springs may help you pinpoint the precise location of these chips. You should make an effort oh my to goodness. seek out more <laughs> if you wish to obtain new formulas. Thank you, Chadley, but I didn't ask. Should I buy all of these? I think I should. Autocast... Autocast is gonna be good for everybody. Because I can't... Realistically, I can't control everybody at the same time. But do I want that many? I have two now. Uh... Well, it's not like I can buy anything else, I guess. Morph materia? Oh, maybe I should save my stuff after all. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. We're probably gonna meet here again. Because I'm gonna come back here every time I need you. <laughs> while we're a little bit... 
I always open the wrong one. Item transmuter, let's see. So we can't make the high potions. But there are other stuff we can make here. Copper bracer. Oh, these are better than what I have because they have two slots for materia. Wood sprite armlet. Well, if we want to increase our craftsman level, no matter what it is, we want to make one anyway. Power wrist guards. Bulletproof vest. Oh, I remember these things. Earrings. Talisman. Revival earrings. I don't have mithril ore. That's a good one to have, in case if I die. Except I kind of used everything already, so I can't do it now. <laughs> okay, I'll keep a lookout. Am I level 5 now? I am, but now I can't make high potions, because I don't have... Planet's Favor. Okay, I'll keep a lookout for it. How are we looking on the equipment front? Barret. Have some power wrist guards, why don't you? Tifa. You already have a... Yep, 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 this thingy here. Reduces damage taken when not actively controlled in battle. Yes, yes, yes. Aerith. Earrings. Would you like something else? Wait, we really gotta increase Aerith's proficiency so she can use the other rod. She's still been using her beginner rod so far. That's not good. Increases vitality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Armlet. Blessed by the spirits of the forest. And then, so, what we can do is, you can start auto-casting it when I'm not looking. Sounds good to me. And then you can also have the morph materia just because, just, I don't know. Play with it a little bit. Why not? Leather bangle. Copper bracer. Which means, oh, these are not linked, though. That's okay, uh, I mean, I, I can't do auto-cast here. I can, but it's not gonna do anything. Is there anything else I can give you that would link it? Probably want to make another one of this armlet then, if we can. In due time. Because that time is... Oh, apparently I can make one right now. Cool. For Barret then? For Tifa? I'll give it to Barret. No, this is something else. Okay. So it's gotta be in place of the... Um, right, right, right. I see, I see. This makes it linked. But then Tifa can have the copper bracer then. Sorry, Tifa. It's like I, I love you a little bit less. I'm giving you the crappier equipment. <laughs> it's okay. Eventually, I'll, I'll give you the best of everything. Just you wait. But can I give you a materia? I don't even have any materia. That's it. We'll leave the slot free for now. Oh, but Tifa's fire and ice materia. We should definitely try it. I'm still not sure how that works exactly. Just yet. We have a windmill here as well. Oh, my goal is to cut through so I can... I can make this a little bit less gray. That's right. Oh, it's gray because of the mountain. Right. That windmill's kind of working. Ish. But yeah, like, this is the, the reason why there's a giant area that we can't even go to. What's that light? Oh, hey. Sweet, thank you. We've been cashing in on those golden plumes. Maybe time to go back sometime soon, too. Okay. So yeah, we can't exactly fill out all the gray areas, but I can try. Try my best to. I don't think we can get up on the mountain, can we? Oh! Wow, there's a whole tank there! Damn. Forgotten treads. That thing Shinra's? Yeah. Looks like. But definitely an older model. From back when they were duking it out with the Republic. Hard to imagine this was once a battlefield. And harder still to find land anywhere that hasn't been a battlefield at some point. Oh sweet, the caches were pretty easy to find this time. Oh, so 
we the war that we know of with Wutai, it's with Wutai, but even before then, there was another war with Shinra. It's kind of crazy. War is everywhere. Excavation Intel, bygone settlement. Hey, Cloud! It seems that a transmitter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt begin. Where is everyone else going? They're leaving me? Excavation with chocobos. Sniff. Yeah, <laughs> I sort of discovered a lot of this stuff already. Okay. How close do I need to be? Wait, there's three artifacts. Not one, but three. Maybe we want to go around a little bit first? Somewhere here? Yeah. Everybody else, help out too. Don't just stand around. You all have chocobos, alright? Here, here. This way. You can now transmute a cushion. Oh, that might be good. It's not gonna make me any less stingy about not wanting to use them, but hey, at least we can make more of them. Here we go. Enhanced Copper Bracer. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Are we trying to look for- Okay, here we go. Third one. Over there? Right here. Windmill gear. There we go. The main reason why we're here. But did we learn anything more about Junon from doing this? Excellent. It seems you found the transmitter chip. With it, you'll be able to create the item Mildred needs. You need only collect the requisite materials and craft the part. If you're having trouble tracking them down, then you may want to try analyzing more life springs. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sweet. Okay, alright, alright. There's the abandoned docks. This area here, can we actually visit it? There's a expedition here. That's probably another life spring. That's where we got our... Our butts kicked last time, was it? Or was that a different one? I'm just trying to see where the border of where we can visit is up to right now. And we can't cross the swamps, but we can go here. We should probably go there. Sooner rather than later. Moogle intel, that's completely new to me. Okay, well let's go back to Windmill Lady. What? So, what do you want to know? Mm, what transmutation materials we need? Step one was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby to work. As for the ingredients, you'll need to bag the Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. bird to get what you need. Not that anyone's seen it lately. Sure Shinra's to blame for that too. But maybe you'll have better luck. Time to tap into some life springs. Yeah. Again? Okay. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Oh, there's multiple steps. You already have the transmuter chip. Transmuter windmill gear. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to actually make it. I see. I, I got the... It's like getting the blueprint for how to make something. Fingers crossed I have the materials to make it. Oh, the Quetzalcoatl Talon. That's what I need. So, how do I find out where a Quetzalcoatl is? I am going to an expedition intel near the abandoned docks. There's a bird coming for me already. I'm hoping this is how we find... Are you are you a Quetzalcoatl? How do I find a Quetzalcoatl? That's a mouthful. Okay. It's like that bird's making fun of me. 
It's just circling around. Shouldn't it be peace? Yeah, okay, that's a life spring, but... Does that tell me where a Quetzalcoatl is? Mm-hmm. Live spring data. Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. The nest of the Quetzalcoatl, a rare bird native to these lands. So rare, in fact, that few have ever seen it. This is a prime research opportunity for us. I should also mention that you'll need its talents to transmute the part the windmill requires. Mildred is anxiously awaiting your return, so I recommend subduing the creature with haste. Combat assignments updated. Winged Lasser... What? <laughs> hold up, hold up. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Intel, I want to read that intel. Did we just get something new? What was that thing that just popped up? I have no idea. Maybe we'll... Oh, the, this one. Classified intel. Winged Lasser Tillian of Yore. Investigate the newly detected dangerous species. That's somewhere else. Level 22. Maybe something to worry about later on then. For now. Yeah, was that the bird that kicked my butt? Maybe. Anyway, we're actually just... Let's just go here. Can we go here? Oh, <gasps> We can. It's right around the corner. Oh, it's that boss-like area. Classified foes. Once a specific number of life springs has been surveyed, the location of an especially powerful fiend will be revealed. Upon arrival, you can lure them out, and you cannot flee from these battles. Okay. Cloud, you have arrived in the lair of the majestic Quetzalcoatl. Make certain you're prepared before attempting to challenge it. Okay, if we're talking about preparedness, I probably want... I feel like... Barret and Red. I, I'd like that party a little... Mm. No, let's go with Aerith. I was just thinking I don't know how to control her as well as Barret, maybe. But, well, the best way to learn is to do it on the job. Engage enemy. Hey, come up, buddy! Oh, you were bigger than I expected. Think you're tough? You are tough! It is tough! It looks tough. Best do it right. A great aerial creature that calls the grasslands home. This particular species has existed since antiquity, its genetic structure remaining largely unchanged to this day. It commands lightning, driving away any who dare to enter its territory. Ice. I don't know if anyone here has ice besides me, but I have the... Um, I have the ability. Each time it moves between the air and ground, it will unleash a powerful attack. Okay, ice, ice. With me, not bad. Ready? With me. Biological Get him! Vortex sweep. Snow flurry. Never again. Bundle up. I believe in you. And that barely did much. Oh, man. Cloud only has synergy with red right now. Come on. Are you gonna try to get me? You got this oh. under control. I need someone to heal Aerith. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Is that it? Prey needs two ATB bars. Get him. Oh, there's a very high tendency for the uh, the enemy to target the person I'm controlling. I think that's the thing here. I'll take care of you. Get wow, him. that barely healed any. Oh man! Oh god! I mean, maybe we'll be red for now. Take some of the pressure off everyone else. Siphon Fang. 
going in. We need to start pressuring people. Electro Diffusion, I'm not sure what this skill is, but it looks like it, he's ganging up for something. The Cloud. Snow Flurry. Get him. Aerith, continue Boy, gathering. I want you to do an Arcane Ward, but it's staggered right now, so... Cloud, continue snow flurrying. Calling Go ice. on! Go on! You'll see. Okay, the mistake I was making last time was that I went to abilities, but it doubles up on the spells. The arcane ward, I mean. This should work. Arrow. Watch out for one more. Yes! That's how I get the proficiency. Fantastic. Finally. Somebody summon, please. Red, please summon. Ifrit. I beg of you, heed my call. It's kind of weird because I feel like I'm more familiar with FF16 than Final Fantasy as a whole. So whenever I see these summons, I actually think of like Clive and all that stuff. Even though I feel like for the average Final Fantasy player, seeing these summons, like they're staples of the series, right? But <laughs> to me, it's like, oh, it's Clive and Shiva is Jill and all that stuff. Crimson Dive. Red can limit break, by the way. Blood Fang. Blood Fang, charged forward in an animalistic rage, bathing in foes' blood and restoring your HP and MP. Ah! <laughs> Leave it to me. Last long. Got a lot going on here. Okay, we need... It's over. We need to... Bring people back. Phoenix draft. They take over. Fight through it. <laughs> Disappointing. Oh no! What do I do? You get need to increase. Oh done. no! I was. No way. Cloud had an ATB, but I didn't get the healing off get in time. <laughs> yeah, this is not an easy battle for me right now. Although, oh, if only I had. A Cloud here. Stop it! It's weak against ice. If we can target that next time, that would be good. Go on. Summon abilities? But I need to bring Cloud back. I need to. Oh no! I will survive. Oh no! This is not good. Okay, backline command. Backline command. Oh. I don't think I got it. We shall see to the rest. Backline command. United refocus. Overfang. Raises limit levels. Bear it. Okay, you definitely have to bring someone back right now. I don't know if we can do this. We might be a little bit too far gone. Yep. I'm in. Nowhere to run. I'm Raising limit levels. Certain synergy abilities can raise a character's limit level, which will in turn unlock more powerful limit break attacks. For example, Cloud can perform Cross Slash at limit level 1 and Ascension at level 2. You can also unlock level 3 through your character's folios. And we're back. No. It's staggered! It's staggered! Oh, Cloud's back! How did he come back? When did he come back? Oh, because I already did it earlier. I thought it didn't register, though, but it did. Hurry up, hurry up! It's over! We might be okay. We might be okay, guys. Get something going on here. Come on. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. Chill. Need a breather. Sure. Good night. Yes. Woo. 
Got the talon. Barely. Confirmed. Cancel Quaddle defeated. Amazing work as always, Cloud. Your heroic victory over that vicious creature was a feast for the eyes. I suppose it falls to me to make Mai's presence more tolerable. How do you? Volume levels decreasing? Wait! Huh. <laughs> now then, allow me to congratulate you on your victory over that beast. And thank you for the valuable biological data. You should now be able to craft the requisite part for the windmill. No doubt Mildred is impatiently awaiting its delivery. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you for letting me know. I think in general, maybe Chadley talks a little bit too much. <laughs> we, we can just go back directly, I think. Mm, I think I'm getting getting a hang of uh, the combat again. I know about the synergy abilities. I think I get how it works, but I haven't been able to pull it off yet just because I'm still too worried about my health and all that to think about it. We can just go back to the windmill. Can we heal a little bit before then? Or do we want to do an expedition while we're here? That's actually not while we're here, though. That's around the corner a little bit. Okay, maybe I'll come back next time then. Let's go to the windmill for now. Transmuting the thing. Yes, thank you. We got it. Here you go. Now that is a quality design. No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic ingenuity. Whoa. Okay, time <laughs> to see if she works. Don't let them hear you say that. It's amazing! Incredible! Wow! The blades are spinning! Actually spinning! What a sight! Oh, I can't wait to find out how much power it can generate! I wish Broden was here for this. He'd have loved to see these windmills running again. Maybe one day. Well, He's anyway, not dead! Thank you. What?! <laughs> helped me fulfill a dream of mine. Guess you're heading back to Calm? That's the plan. When you see Broden, you tell him... Hurry up and get better, would ya? We got a whole wide world to see. Or something along those lines. Yeah, let's bring him over here right now! He's not dead! It's okay! Alright, that's my, my secondary prize? What is it? Orb of Cleansing Materia. This is something like clearing poison status, something like that. I guess. Should I just give it to myself? Use curative spells. Poi poisona, Isuna, resist. Yeah, we need this for some stuff, I think. Okay, while we're here, fire. I don't know if we really want fire because we have that ability already. Just thinking about the elements we're giving everyone. What do we want to do? Aerith in particular, because she's like a magic person. I feel like we should give her 5 million materia if we can. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. I'm curious how this looks, so I'm gonna switch this with Cloud's fire. If that's alright. Chakra. Oh, you should... You should give me the autocast. But you need the chakra as well. HP up. Yeah, autocast will never be a bad thing. We should get more of it. Alright. Cool. How is it all looking? I think we should maybe try to go for the Moogle intel and then go to the little corner here. Fiend intel. That's another monster we have to face. So, Moogle intel. What's Moogle intel? Does it have to do with this mushroom home? Prairie Moogle. Pop inside a mushroom shaped Mog stool to get a peek inside the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein. Is that a mushroom? I believe it is. Hi. Are we allowed in? This looks human-sized, like it's made for humans. 
โอ้โอ้โอ What the Uh Welcome to our Moogle Emporium Though I'm sorry to say we aren't open quite yet and I'm not even sure when we will be Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kubo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping. The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up, and then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kubo. Ah. Uh. Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa. We didn't even get to the side. Normally, when they give me a quest, I can say yes or no. But here, Cloud, maybe he secretly really likes cute things. <laughs> but th this Moogle looks really weird, though. It, it looks different from the previous ones I've seen. Moogle mischief. Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back into their mog stool, or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just beware their playful little tricks. Get hit three times, and the game will end, Koopo. Get hit. Mookie, moo la la, moog, moo lu lu. All right, all right. Over here. Oh, that, is that? Ow! Oh, there's a banana peel on the ground. You kidding me? We have to dodge them. What what am I doing to you though? Am I, am I... okay? W which one is your house even? Over here. Which one is your damn house? Do we have a time limit? I really hope not. What the heck are you doing? Go to your home. Here you go. I think we just sort of. Over here. Which one is your house? That one, apparently. Th can we tell? Is it color coded? Because without that, I'm just sort of randomly chasing people all around and hoping I get their homes eventually. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, buddy. You you gotta. You gotta. How do I catch you? I don't want to swing my sword at you. It's quite kind of rude, but yeah, I'm just leading it towards the same place. You should go this way. Oh, you're not trying to go into the homes on the side. You're trying to go into the middle part. Is that it? Get in the house. Get in the fence. Get in the damn fence. Over here. Yes, that's the problem. That's the house in the middle. Okay, Moog. If that even is your real name. Get inside! Get inside, damn you! Get inside! You damn little... Get in the crack! Right now! Okay. Whew. That was something. It looks so... Furry. <laughs> I thought the eyes were more like... Slits. Kubo, now we can finally open the Emporium! Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great, I promise! Moogle Emporiums! Returning all the Mooglets to their mog store will grant access to a new shop at which you can exchange Moogle medals for a variety of enticing items. Yes, opening more Emporiums will increase the Moogles' merchant rank, which will give them more stuff for you to buy. Ether, Ruby! We have rubies already. Why do we need rubies? Why do we need emeralds? We have these things. HP up materia earrings. But do they have... Do they have materia slots? Art of swordplay. Oh, I think we need this. Yeah. Way of the fist. For Tifa. SP. Oh, we don't have to do anything. We just buy it and we immediately get the SP. Cool. It's actually all I have... Medals for, for the moment. Ether, Ether's MP. I'm okay. Thanks. Koopa? 
just so you know, there are six more mock stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Sometimes they say the exact same thing the tutorial just told me. <laughs> Does that mean there's gonna be six main open section, open world sections then? That might be kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, well, that was a thing. And they're kind of laughing creepily, but... Okay, I'm, I'm glad to see you're happy. Be happy. Everyone be happy. Mogstool. Yeah, let's try to go down to the Fiend Intel down here. See if we can do anything. Oh yeah, this mini-map is working out so much better for me. I don't really like that compass crap. I barely switched to operator mode the whole time. Hey, hey! Somebody do something. Pay attention. In need of my own. Be at peace. Going in. Red is completely melee. Unless if I do a okay. Yeah, unless if I do a spell, I guess. No time to celebrate. Damn. Red. Damn, boy. You're really doing some good work here. Aerith and her staff! My god, we really gotta get that working out. We have a twisted path here. With what? That's just people. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, buddy! Where is your little stop? Around the corner? Maybe they put a little stop here so you can heal up before you fight some scary fiends? Good! Thank you! You're a great help. Yeah, that's a good one. This is also a path. Maybe I'll just walk it to clear out the gray later on. For now. The fiend. That's not the fiend, but we'll attack it anyway. Keep your cool. Levricon. Oh, this will be good practice for me because I'm terrible with these guys. Oh, can we try using the materia? Blizzard Alpha. Why is Blizzard Alpha? This is the fire and ice materia, right? Is that why it's Alpha? It's on you. You ready? I'm coming. Yeah. You'll see. Barrett, do something instead of just standing there, please. Try using it. Go on. That's it. Get ready. Acid shower. Aerith needs more spells than this. This is not enough spells. And nothing has been weak to win so far, so she needs a better she needs a different thing. Oh god! Let's do this. Dare you. Thank you! Mastered Arcane Ward. Aerith can finally switch out. Woo! Guard stick. Timeless rod. Right, so this has different oh, because I put different material on it before. Prayer. Auto unique ability. Morph. You don't need morph, I think. Fire damage up. Altruistic recovery. Well, if if Aerith can heal us, heal us better, that would be good. I really think she needs more than... She might do better with a fire and ice materia, to be honest. I can give that the, the wind one to Cloud or something. Is that what you have? No, just take the wind. Yeah, because I... Aerith is supposed to be the better spellcaster. We have to distribute our stuff accordingly. Now where's our little fiend around the corner? What are you? What are you gonna be? Bearer of grudges. Alpha uh -oh. dunks? Fiend alert. 
Rare Alpha Dog variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The docile disposition of the Alpha Dog led to its widespread adoption as a beast of burden. Applications included agriculture, transportation, and even warfare. Variants like these, however, were valued as a source of hides and tusks used for arts and crafts. Unfortunately, they are a notoriously difficult creature to raise in captivity and were usurped by the now ubiquitous Chocobo. At present, the only remaining wild alpha dunks can be found here, in the grasslands. Most are really? aggressive, especially these ones, which is why we must study them thoroughly before they become a threat to both animals and humans. Okay, we have to pressure them, stagger them, and defeat them within the time limit. I think we can do that. I will... Let's see, can we do Barret? Oh, we haven't done Tifa for a while. Let's do Barret and Red. I like Barret because he has the... He can also stagger. I don't think Aerith has a staggering ability. Pressure, stagger, defeat them in time limit. Okay, got you, got you. Allow me. Did I have to do it again? And Medunk. Rare Alpha Dunk variant that bears a deep grudge towards humans after losing its family to overhunting. Consequently, it will lash out at any person it sees. Wait, then why are we killing it? This feels really cruel. I don't want to kill it. Why are we killing it? It's basically an elephant. Yeah, it's like I hunting, hunting elephants for their ivory tusks. That's exactly what it is. Gotcha. It's on now. Wow. So it's seeing red now. That's not good. Focus thrust. Barrett, did you... Did you focus thrust the right person? I might not have. <laughs> A little bit unfortunate. Here it comes. Going in. This one, this one. Oh, I can do it all by myself. There we go. Now we just gotta defeat them. Going in. Stand against you. You're up. Hell yeah. Firebolt blade. You're dead. Sloppy. Keep it together. For you, electric impulse. So Barrett has electricity Going even without the materia stuff. I'm finding myself using abilities a lot more than spells. Is that normal? Does it make a difference? Maybe the the better question here. In terms of damage, maybe one is better than the other, but I have to investigate a little bit more. I don't think we need to summon here. Gotcha. Bang bang! I know you can do this! Congratulations! You managed to complete all intel objectives! Good. was a very impressive battle just now. Well done! Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh, and I helped too! Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Go on! God, these two talk like robots. Maybe because they are robots. <laughs> I guess that's the whole point behind it. The... Chadley made my... But my... <laughs> Mai's talking back at him and stuff. Oh, there's a lot of... what is this? Just... Yeah, I guess it's like war stuff. Junon. Republic of Junon war stuff. Like the tanks that we saw before. Nothing around here, just letting us have a look, I guess. Oh, hey! Nice. Phoenix down. We need more of that. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's just around here for us to take a look at. 